hi everyone you're welcome to my channel thoughts with winger please if you are new here consider subscribing i post content on studentship assistantship and scholarship and please share with your friends today i'm going to be telling you about code mailing code mailing what do i mean by code mailing code mailing is you mail is you mailing your potential supervisors and telling him to recommend you to to the school so that they can give you access to come and study for free in the in his institution so that he will be your potential supervisor so that you have the summary of code mailing i'm going to be telling you more details about that in the course of this video but i want to tell you that the reason why you need to code mail i want to tell you the reason so now you can see that sometimes in some it's depending on some institution in us and europe some courses are 70 like 70 percent of courses in us and europe some depending on the institution now they are fully funded even at master's level why some at at a phd level they are about 80 percent 90 percent even 95 depending on the institution percent fully funded so that means that if you are going to do your master's or phd degree there that means that you are going to be doing it for free apart from not paying paying no tuition fee you are not go, you are going to be given stipends you're going to be giving allowances like that even accommodation is going to be taken care of your feeding and your tuition fee and other allowance they're going to even give you stipends so but this you have to get the supervisor that will recommend you you cannot just apply like that if you apply like that you might you might give you admission but you're going to pay or you, have, you you are going to and sometimes the application fee is more true but if you get supervisors potential supervisor that can recommend to the school that this person is going to come please give him or her scholarship give him fully funded so if they recommend to the school the school will now we now contact you all the uh, all the, uh, the potential provider so we now give you everything that you need the how to go about the application until you get to the school until you are settled your accommodation and everything and you do your your degree your degree free of charge free of charge so but you did you know is that how do you get this potential supervisors one is by visiting the school website and the department you wish you you are going you, you are looking forward to study the other thing is that you go online search for research uh, on, on google scholar and research gate and the likes you look for their previous um what is it going on their previous papers papers on the, maybe the area you are interested in, the papers published there. So through the, you know, get their emails, the email of the potential uh, supervisors, and you mail you make them. You could mail them. Could I will show you sample right now. You could make them. Another thing is that, or you go to Richard Gates. You see the French people there. You meet them and you get their email and you could mail them. Or you go on LinkedIn. You can even go on LinkedIn. Search for them. Start talking with them. You get their this thing they will they can they will they, they will tell you they are if they are interested in you they will they will they will send you their email to you and their profile their portfolio link to their portfolio and through that you start sending them a, a talking with them until you get your what you want until you get to the institution so i'm going to be telling you now i just want to tell you that you are on my screen and you are seeing Kent University, University of Kent, the University of Spain, the Portuguese courses at the University of Kent, this is Aguera Science. I want to tell you that if you are looking forward to studying in USC, University of Kent has a lot of fully funded courses, fully con funded courses that you should apply to. Just make sure you check it. They have most of the courses, if not, if not almost, they are fully funded. Their yeah, courses is not most they are fully funded. So please try to check it out. Even at masters and even PhD. 
and if you have a good CGPA, you can just get a straight PhD direct with your BSc. So let's dive in like that. The first thing is that I just want to show you my screen right now. I search Department of Mathematics, Kings University, and it brought out this. Can you see now? So what I just need to do, just I click on faculty and staff. When I click on faculty and staff, it, it brought out this, as you can see now, it brought out this Kane State, as you can see now, this Kane State University. So it, it brought out this, so and like that, and, and now see this, this, this is their staff, and this is their email. So what I now need to do now is that, I will just, if, if I am interested in this person, I will go first of all, don't just go, don't just copy the email alone. First of all, we see the online check for make sure you check his was his previous works online then you can now code mail him you now copy the email here copy the email here copy the email and then you code mail the start copy them and code mail them if you are interested in any of them you could you copy the email and code mail so let me see let, let me see and um, you can see now this is Kent, University of Kent. Why this one is Kent State University? So they are different. So let me say I want I I want Kent University. I just put it there. You can see now Kent University. You can see faculty and staff. So let us do that. That is the first method. That is the first method. That is the first method. As you can see now, that is the first method. So this one is, 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 it makes it easier for you to get their contacts regular uh, on time. So you don't have to go through the website and find it out uh, or not easy to get. You can see now, this is this University of Kent. As you can see now, you can see. As you can see, these are academic staff. As you can see, the, the phone number is even there. So you just code mail, you just copy the email and code mail. So that's how to do it. That's the first one. But make sure before you start code mailing, make sure you have visited their their profiles on Google Scholar. Let me show you now, Google Scholar. Make sure you have visited our profile on Google Scholar and Research Gate. So I just want to show you right now. Let's say uh, Stephen. Let me just say Dr. Stephen. Dr. Stephen. Uh, let me see Dr. Stephen Crouch. Copy. So yeah, as you can see now, this is Dr. Stephen Crouch because. Uh, so what you need to do is as. This so doesn't you cross you click on it. Let me see. I've clicked on let him, I want to look for his paper so that I will be able to know how to message me uh, code mailing because we have to know how to code mailing. So that is, this is these are his paper, some of his papers you can see now. University of Kings, you can see. So I will see, I will see maybe what he's doing is is related to what I'm doing too. I wish I will, you can see now if you are okay, just. Look at it and like that. That's that how you see it. You can see now. You can see. You can see like that. You can see. So that's how to do that. That is how to do that. That is the first one. The second one is using Google Scholar or Richard Gates. I don't want to talk about Richard Gates because of time. But I, I just want to talk about Google Scholar. So you, all you need to do is just to go to profiles. Go to profiles on Google Scholar. Go to profiles. Don't mind. Don't mind. Don't just go to Google profile. Just search for anybody. Just search for anybody. Like the University of Kent. University of Kent. University. University of Kent. So you can see now, investor of Kane, like it should bring people that ask uh, this thing. Now you can see, you can see people at the investor of Kane's 
you know see they are this in the verify email as you can see so you see them you see them so just make sure you check through check through when you are now convinced that this one is okay with for you this one is okay for you you can now check that work if it's the same thing you are doing you now could make them so just to round up this video just to end this video i'm going to show you a cv sample but not i'm not talking about cv today i just want to show you about a uh, how to code mail how to code mail a sample of code email we have many sample but this one is just for you guys now so so do you guys now let me show you that this is example of code mailing this is example of a code email do you get it now but the first thing i want to advise is that after getting the uh, email of your potential power source and you are not sure that what you are doing and what he is doing is the same thing you are in the same line you are ready to do what he is doing so the first thing is that you have to look at his work and call me like that you have to look at his work and be able to because you must be able to tell him that what you are doing you have been doing something that you want to continue that will you wish what he is doing is going to help or you are looking for a way that what you are doing he also can gain from it they are ready to learn those lecturers there those professors there they are ready to learn so if you see that what you are doing is, is, is something you can gain from you'll be okay or what you are doing is able to like normally you can be able to convince him that what you are doing currently or what you did maybe as an undergraduate or master's is is okay is um you with is uh how would i put this now is um what you did and what he is doing can help you improve what you did in your undergraduate and master or master's level depending so it will be able to help you they are ready to help and learn too so that was it so the first thing is i just make sure you check and, and know how to blend it so this one is this is an example now just read it to you now he said dear professor i'm writing to express my interest in a doctoral position in, in your group i recently completed my master's in laboratory in, in laboratory of professor dr so so i have 14 years of experience studying micro micro microbial interaction and stretch signaling casket my bachelor thesis was on you must tell him what you did before because they must know resistance also so, so uh, yes the study was con almost like that you get it now so after that after that you now show him to acquire more knowledge in the field of my uh, mycology specifically funga pathogenesis to and uh, to stay connected with academics i started my so, 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 so. like that like that like that so as you can see now you now be able to tell him you now tell him i will show don't worry i'll share the link of this uh record mail and uh, many of them in the description so you now see i read some research as you could in your area that means that you must you, you must be able to convince him that you've read his work previously his previous work so that he, he will be able to know that you are serious so i read you know, i read some of your research article in the area and being uh, I read some of your research articles and the areas of research being pursued in your group is very interesting. Your recent publication on so, so, so caught my attention and I will appreciate an opportunity to discuss potential research ideas that align with your area of interest. I'm confident of my investigative qualities, independence, creativity and critical thinking and my technical skills. That's just how to do it. So by then, you send it to him, he will reply to you and then you start conversation like that like that so that's how to do it so please if you are here consider subscribing to my channel thank you i will see you in the next video please consider subscribing to my channel i will see you in the next video thank you this is talks with benga scholarship studentship and assistantship